There was one question I was left with when I walked out of the theater after I watched Nope. Where is the fucking bathroom? But the other question I had was about the shoe that we see at multiple points of the movie and why it was standing up. Today I'm going to try to give my best answer and interpretation as to why the shoe was standing up and what it symbolizes. Oh, and spoiler alert for Nope if that wasn't obvious enough. To tackle what the shoe means, we have to tackle something else first. The recurring theme in Nope is a bad miracle. But what exactly is a bad miracle? After thinking about it more, in my mind there are two different interpretations as to what a bad miracle could be, and we are shown both of these interpretations throughout the movie. The first and most common understanding would be an event that occurred that had a very small chance of happening. This is the miracle aspect of it, it was a one in a million event. The bad side of it is that the event that happened was not a good thing. So winning the lottery would be a good miracle, getting struck by lightning would be a bad miracle. And nope, we are shown this kind of bad miracle when OJ's dad dies to a quarter that flies down because it fell out of a plane. The second understanding of a bad miracle would be an event that happens in an already bad situation, and this event that happens was significantly improbable. An example of this would be getting hit by a car, but making it out completely unharmed. The situation was already bad because you got hit by a car, but he made it out completely unharmed and without injuries which is the miracle aspect of it. This is the kind of bad miracle that we need to examine to find out what the shoe standing up means since this was Jupe's bad miracle. Now before we go any further, I want to give a slight disclaimer that the footage may not be a perfect match to what I'm saying, but please bear with me since this movie is brand new and finding specific scenes isn't always possible. But back to it, Jupe's bad miracle happens when Gordy gets out of control and attacks cast members of the sitcom Gordy's Home. Remember in Nope there is an emphasis on making eye contact with animals. We see this with the mirror that causes the horse in the beginning to freak out. We also see the main characters avoiding stares with the UFO when it's directly overhead of them. Now Jupe is a little kid when Gordy is freaking out and going on a tirade, and Jupe is stuck in his position under the table and he's not moving a muscle. But his position is looking directly at Gordy. Now almost as if it's divine intervention, a shoe is propped up that is seemingly defying the laws of physics from the angle that we are looking at it from. But the reason why the shoe is propped up is so that way Jupe, being the little kid that he is, has a natural distraction to keep him from looking at Gordy. Jupe's position is also handy because he has a tablecloth helping him with somewhat shielding his eyes. These distractions help protect Jupe since directly looking at the predator never results in something good as we learn from Nope. So the quick and dirty answer to the question why is the shoe standing up is because it serves as a distraction to help save Jupe from Gordy. But now let's discuss another viewpoint and one that deserves to be addressed. After my initial viewing of Nope, my understanding was that there was a possibility that the alien was involved in Jupe's childhood nightmare. The reason why I thought this was because the suction effect the alien has that pulls things up towards it was the force that caused the shoe to stand up. Also, the monkey going insane could have been attributed to how the animals act when the alien is around since they become suicidal and want to get sucked up. But in Gordy's case, the chimp isn't pulled up, so he lets his frustrations out on the cast members. Also with the alien, it's been established in the film that it's been around for 6 months, but we have no clue how old the alien actually is. This alien could have very well been around during this taping of Gordy's home, and in fact this alien could have been the meddling force that causes the episode to end in tragedy. This could also explain the connection between Jupe and the alien since he views the alien as sparing his life, since the alien stops influencing Gordy, and Gordy seems perfectly normal when he approaches Jupe. The lashing out of Gordy seems completely unpredictable and almost as if it was caused by an outside force, and this outside force also happens to explain the shoe standing up. This outside force also then forms a strange bond with Jupe, as Jupe views it as sparing him, and then he tries to make a monetary gain off this alliance with the outside force, which is the alien. But after further investigation, it's pretty obvious that this can't be the case. The most obvious tip-off is the fact that the electricity is still working perfectly fine in this Gordy's home massacre. The movie establishes that when the alien interacts with a piece of land, it causes all of the electricity to power off. But that does not happen here, which therefore means the alien could not have been involved. If you really wanted to stretch it, you could say that maybe the alien didn't know how to affect the electricity at this specific point in time, or maybe it was a younger version of itself that didn't possess the same abilities, but these all seem like a pretty far reach. 
So the shoe standing up is really just a coincidence in my view. But let's take it a bit deeper. In Nope, the movie quotes the passage from the Bible, Nahum chapter 3 verse 6. The verse reads in the New International Version, I will pelt you with filth, I will treat you with contempt, and make you a spectacle. Now, I'm no Bible scholar, but I'll try to explain this verse, and then cross-apply it to Jupe specifically in the movie. In this verse, the prophet Nahum is telling the people of Assyria, who were a massive, vicious empire back in the day, that their empire will fall, and that there will be a reckoning on their capital and beloved city of Nineveh. This verse is God's words towards the Assyrian people, telling them that they will be punished because they were such savages and wicked people, and because they built their city on the bloodshed of the innocent. Now, obviously the Assyrians weren't immediately wiped out as soon as they started to commit wrongs because that's not how God works. Rather, it was a culmination of events that eventually set God off and warranted his punishment. Because as it is said earlier in Nahum chapter 1 verse 3, the Lord is slow to anger but great in power. The Lord will not leave the guilty unpunished. His way is in the whirlwind and the storm, and clouds are the dust of his feet. So now let's cross apply my mini Sunday school lesson to Jupe and Nope. Jupe is presented with a miracle through God's mercy that saves his life because when the shoe is standing up, it serves as a natural distraction that keeps him from making eye contact with Gordy. On top of this, Gordy decides to only rampage at the other people on set, but when he walks up to Jupe, he is calm. The issue is that Jupe took this bad miracle and misunderstood it as a way to keep trying his luck. This is why he gets so cocky as to think that he can tame an alien and use it for his own capital gain. He plays with his life in other people's lives so he can profit from the situation. Now let's cross apply Nahum chapter 3 verse 6 directly here. It says, I will pelt you with filth. We see this when Gordy's blood splashes across Jupe's face when he is a child. He would also have filth on his face when he's being eaten by the alien since all of the bodies of the people were smushed together. The verse also reads, I will treat you with contempt and make you a spectacle. And we see that the way that Jupe is punished is certainly in a way that seems contemptful and like a spectacle, almost as if to make a scene and an example out of his death. Also, going back to Nahum chapter 1 verse 3, this can be directly applied to Jupe's life. Jupe is given a miracle that saves his life, but rather than just appreciating that miracle for what it is, he uses it as a justification to push the limits to go after things that are beyond his own understanding for his own gain. And while doing this, he puts his life and the lives of those around him in jeopardy. Now God is slow to anger as I mentioned, and this applies here in that Jupe had all this time since he was a child to reflect on the shoe and to take it for what it is. He also had plenty of time to realize that what he was doing was wrong and extremely dangerous. And so he gets punished because the Lord will not leave the guilty unpunished. Let's also take a moment to analyze how the chimp incident perfectly foreshadows what happens to Jupiter's claim. Gordy's home risks the lives of his cast members by having a chimp on set and by trying to tame a wild animal. Rather than learning from this mistake, Jupe commits the same sin by trying to tame a wild animal himself and by risking people's lives in the process of it. Going back to Nahum chapter 1 verse 3, God takes his time to punish these sins, so that way these people have the opportunity to realize what they're doing is wrong, but instead these people continue to sin. Gordy's home is punished after two years of doing this business, and Jupe is punished after six months. What is also interesting is that Gordy is set off by a loud noise caused by the unwrapping of one of his gifts when the balloons pop. Similarly, the alien is also triggered by loud noises. What's also interesting here is the last line of this verse. His way is in the whirlwind and the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. How does Jupe die? By getting sucked up by a massive whirlwind that is caused by the alien. The alien also disguises itself as a cloud, almost as if it's the foot of God. It's very interesting how perfectly this verse lines up with the movie, considering that it wasn't directly mentioned in the film. I wouldn't be surprised if while reading through the book of Nahum, Peel got inspired through this verse and decided that he wanted to use the alien as an allegory on God's power. Now we've strayed a little bit away from just the shoe standing up, but I hope this was a fun ride and that my commentary was somewhat insightful. Thank you so much for watching, and please let me know your thoughts in the comments below over Nope. These videos take a long time to make, so all of your love and support is really appreciated and it genuinely means a lot to me. I made some other videos where I dive deep on movies and I try to say things that haven't been said before, and I think that you guys will genuinely enjoy those videos. I personally would recommend checking out my Science of the Lambs or Signs videos if you like analysis type stuff. And if you made it this far guys, thank you so much, I love you, and I genuinely hope that you have a great rest of your day.